What's up everyone, it's Cody Steck. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're taking a drive down Heber City Main Street. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about what it's like to walk along or drive along Heber City Main Street. This is a very interesting place. You're gonna see a wide mixture of buildings here. You're gonna see some new buildings, some old buildings, and this is gonna give you a really good sense of what this area actually looks like. If you're traveling in or out of Heber City, there's a very, very high chance you're gonna be driving on this road. And of course, if you're living there in town, you're gonna to be on this street at least a couple times a week. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump in here. If you find any value from this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You can click that button down below. You can get notified on any time we release new videos talking about the Park City or Heber area. And also if you're thinking about buying or selling real estate here in Park City or Heber City, any of the surrounding areas, make sure to reach out to me, call, text, or email anytime. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. My information is here on the screen or you can find it in the description box down below. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay guys, so driving down the street here, you can see that we are uh, facing east. This is gonna be the east side of the road here. You're gonna have a couple of older shops right here. You've got the auto parts store, you've got Domino's, and then you're gonna have some houses just like this one coming up that are going to be really old. You know, Some of these are gonna be 1900s, even 1910, 1920, and they've been converted into these commercial buildings. So they've kept kind of that unique historic value of the homes you know, rather than tearing it down and building something brand new, they've uh, allowed the owners of these properties to convert them into uh, into these commercial buildings. So you will have a little bit of that. You're gonna have a little bit of this, which is newer stuff. You know, these newer shops here in the corner. You've got an auto parts store right here, like a mechanic shop. You're gonna have a lodge right here, just a small inn. It admittedly, could use a little bit of work. It's kind of old, a little bit run down, but could be renovated and, um, you know, made to be nicer over time you've also got zion's bank right here wells fargo this is kind of one of your main intersections right here that's why the banks have those spots right there and then it just continues on you're gonna have everything you need from some office space to the hardware store that's right there some restaurants boutiques just about everything here on main street you also are going to have some car dealerships here in the area so you've got car malone uh, which is a jeep and truck dealer right there you're gonna have a city building right there with a huge piece of land and lots of mature trees. You can see how much snow is here. Obviously we filmed this during the, the winter months and you can see that this is uh, you know, probably at least a week or two after the last storm that came prior to that. So there's not a lot of snow on the ground, but this place can get hammered with quite a bit of snow when it, um, when it snows. Right there, you've got the OG Cafe very well-known cafe there in town again this is going to be one of the bigger shopping areas this area has been developed in the last few years you've got carl's jr at&t starbucks panda express off in the distance you've got ace hardware you've also got AutoZone. there's going to be lots of those stores here in this area we're going to flip around here in just a minute and show you the other side of the street but we're moving back to some of those older commercial homes you know that have been converted and continuing on we're getting a little bit closer here to the end before we turn around, you've got another Ford dealership, Natural Grocers, uh, which is great. It's nice to have nice options like that right here on Main Street. You've got a big open lot, which will be developed in the next uh, couple of years, and the Hub Cafe. Now we've actually flipped around, so we're driving back the other direction, looking west. Those are the Wasatch Mountains off in the distance. This is another new shopping area right here. You're gonna have uh, Walmart there off in the distance. You've got Verizon, you've got some banks, you've got uh, some restaurants in there. There's just about, everything that you need right here on the corner. This is one of the big new developments kind of on the southwest side of Heber Main Street. Another grocery store right there, KFC, Taco Bell, Beto's. There's a few restaurants here. You do have some franchise or chain restaurants. You know, you've got a gas station with a Wendy's right there. Uh, there's another Asian place coming up right here that is really um, popular that a lot of people like. One of my favorite places in the area. Um, so you're going to have a little bit of a mixture, you know, you kind of your typical chain fast food places, but then also some smaller mom and pop places, uh, which are nice. Now, if you want a little bit more variety, if you want something that is a little bit higher end, you probably will want to go into Park City, go into Park City Main Street. You're going to have a lot of options, a lot of unique stuff down there. But here in Heber, it is a little bit, um, a little bit less of a variety, I would say. Another auto parts store there and a big lot on the corner waiting to be developed some more houses and you can see that these houses right here actually just behind that is residential right so there's people who are living in this area uh, right off of the main road now you're gonna have the city park right here it's a very nice size city park plenty of room during the summer months you'll see that that park is full people walking their dogs playing with their kids that type of stuff and then moving here onto the north end of town 
You can see that it transitions a little bit to an older style here. The buildings are pushed up closer to the main street, uh, but a lot of these have been renovated. You know, this is valuable land and a valuable area, and people have put the money into these stores and shops, and uh, Heber City Main Street actually gets quite a bit of traffic on these roads. There's lots of cars going in and out, um, lots of construction happening in the area, lots of growth, and you know, people are using these shops on a regular basis. So that wraps it up guys. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you're thinking about buying or selling real estate here in the Park City or Heber City area, please reach out to me. I love hearing from you guys. I've had people from all across the world reach out and I cannot wait to hear from you as well. We've helped hundreds of people move to Utah over the last couple of years or even buy second homes, vacation homes, things like that, right? So reach out to me. My information is here on the screen. Call, text, or email anytime. I love hearing from you guys. And with that said, we'll catch you in the next one.